Hi! As we have previously seen, gravity is this universal force of attraction between any two objects with mass. This force depends on the mass of the objects and on the distance between them. Something interesting that happens when we consider a large object is the effect of the gravitational force from another object on different parts of the former. Consider the Earth, which is continents and its oceans, and consider the Moon and its gravitational effect on the Earth. Both astronomical objects are linked in a dance about their common center of mass. The Earth pulls the Moon and the Moon pulls the Earth. Because the diameter of the Earth is of about 13,000 kilometers, the gravitational force of the Moon on the close side of the Earth is a tiny bit stronger than the gravitational force of the Moon on the farthest side of the Earth. To the difference of between these forces, we call them tidal forces. They have fascinated humankind for millennia, but it was with Newton's equations that it could be explained. Its effect can be easily seen on any coast in the planet with high and low tides. We can calculate the gravitational force on the part of the oceans closest to the Moon and on the part of the oceans farthest from the Moon. We can use Newton's equation for this, where r1 is the short distance and r2 is the long distance. This can be written in terms of the distance to the center of the Earth and the radius of the Earth. We can find that the total force of the Moon on the oceans is of about 7%. 7% larger on one side than on the other side. This happens also for the Sun. The star also induces tidal forces on the oceans of the Earth. These are about 3%. These tidal forces are clearly observable with liquids like the water on the oceans. Look at this example of Saint Michel in France, a short of island. As it is an island half of the day and a peninsula the other half. Tidal forces are important astronomically speaking. For example, if there are fluids inside a planet or a satellite and that planet or satellite is close to the gravitational field of another astronomical object, tidal forces can affect those internal fluids and by moving them hit the inside of the planet or satellite. This happens, for, for example, in Jupiter's moon Io. It also happens to the Earth that Due to the tidal forces, friction is slowing down the spinning of the Earth. Because the Earth is slowing down its spinning, it is losing angular momentum. In order to keep the angular momentum constant of the Earth-Moon system, the Moon is moving away from the Earth. So enjoy while you can the total solar eclipses you have ahead of you. Because in some billion years, there will be no more total eclipses of the Sun. There is another phenomenon due to tidal forces in astronomy. Consider a black hole. This is an object from which nothing, not even light, can escape. The escape velocity of a black hole is the speed of light, and as nothing can travel faster than light, nothing can escape. These are very, very dense objects that we do not fully understand, although there is a lot we can tell about them. For example, if the Sun were to collapse and concentrate all of its mass at the center, increasing its density by a lot, we can calculate what would need to be its radius so that it became a black hole. about 3 kilometers. That would be the radius of the corresponding black hole. 
Don't worry, the sun is not going to do that. That it's not that kind of star. Now consider yourself as an adventurous astronaut that wants to observe a black hole from near. If you got close to the black hole with your feet first, then your feet will experience a stronger gravitational pull than your head. Those are tidal forces. If you get close enough, these tidal forces would spaghettify you and rip you apart way before you could enter into the black hole. Don't worry either, there are no black holes in our astronomical neighborhood. Well, if you are not planning to travel to Europe for your next vacation, you can go to Bay of Fundy in eastern Canada or to any coast for that matter to enjoy the effect of astronomy on your feet. May science be with you.